All right, guys. Today, figured I'd go ahead and show, piggyback off of the sharpening video. For those, th this would be a product that would be good for those who want to learn freehand sharpening, aren't very good at it, maybe you've tried it, you can't keep your angle or anything like that. This is part of the DMT system. Has You can buy the whole kit, similar to a Lansky, but it works in opposite. You hold the stone still, you move the clamp guide. So this is pretty infinitely adjustable. I'll show you in just a minute how. These are rather inexpensive. I believe they're under, I've, I've bought four or five of these, give them away to people that I know that aren't very good at or wanna start freehand sharpening but they usually fall somewhere between nine and $12 on Amazon. So this one's brand new. Like I said, I've given a bunch of these away. What you're gonna get, you're gonna get these two rods, this clamp, and the adjuster. So pretty straightforward. Yeah, if I can get it started, right? Okay. So it's got a little spot in there to guide it, to help you tighten it down. So, as you can see, there's, there's little notches in here. Those are all the different angles you can set at. It has a guide pathway. You stick it down in here. You push it into your desired height. And then you turn it and it is locked at this height. So we have one, two, three notches sticking out. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on this side over here. We have one, two, three notches sticking out. So now your clamp's set up. Just a cheap D2 budget. Go ahead and make it dull. Stick it in there, pinch it like that. And tighten it down. All right, we're on there pretty snug. Okay. Now, what's also good about this, you're gonna have to use it with a bench stone or the DMT setup or the, if you have couple Lansky rods, Lansky stones, but as you can see our angle is going to be way too low. So we'll go ahead and adjust this. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and mark with Sharpie. I don't usually do that. But if you're starting out, that's going to be a good thing you're going to want to do. Now, as you can see, this is going to hold your angle. As you turn it, it's going to hold your angle. It's going to be up to you to stop and not round your tip over. But this actually works pretty well. So we'll go ahead and co color that bevel and get started.
it's so much harder to do this stuff when you're trying to work around the camera so there we go And you want to check it on the finer side of your stone. The coarser side, even if the angle isn't exactly perfect, has a tendency to take off more of the Sharpie than what your angle actually really is. So, <sighs> all right, before I even wipe that off. You can see all that Sharpie came off. So I don't need to make any adjustments. Now, if your angle is pretty far off, you do have a little bit of movement in this clamp. But what you can also do is take off these two little tabs. You'll have to file them off. Then you will be able to put the blade further in to the clamp in combination with these will give you pretty infinite adjustment. But we're six and a half minutes in. Let's go ahead and check the entire angle on both sides and show you how fast this actually will get you an edge. All right, you can go ahead and see on the lock side, we're good. And on the show side, we're good. I just have to go a little bit further out on the tip there. So flip the stone over. Let's go ahead. We're starting 750 now. We'll say we're starting at eight minutes. Now the good thing about this is you, you don't have to worry about holding your angle. You just have to worry about forming your burr, getting rid of your burr, going to your next grit, however far you're going to go, repeating the process, then stropping. And there you can see, you have a nice even bevel all the way across to the tip. Have a burr all the way along. We're going to go ahead, flip it over, and get the other side. Now the only thing you really have to pay attention to on this is that you're keeping your blade square and the aligner guide on your flat surface because this is your guide to keeping this exactly where it is. 
the good thing about this this will give you the feel of where you need to hold your angle if you have no idea where to start you're not good at freehand sharpening and etc Okay, there you go, you can see. We're nice and even all the way up. Have a burr all along the whole thing. I don't know if it's gonna focus to show you. Have a nice even tip on both sides on this. So with me talking, you're talking about three and a half minutes once it's set up. We have a burr on both sides of this budget detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple passes to get the burr off. Then we'll flip to the thousand grit side and go ahead and finish it. Now you just repeat your process on the on the 1000 grit side and also if this is something you feel more comfortable with by all means you could definitely use this to sharpen all the time. All you need is a bench stone, a flat table to work on. Thank you. 
Okay, and now I have a burr all the way along that side. This is just repetition of the coarse grit going ahead and forming our apex. The good thing about this also is since this is strictly a guide, you don't have to worry about, I mean, you still do, but as far as putting too much pressure, this kind of helps you keep from putting too much pressure as well. It help build good habits for your freehand sharpening. If you put too much pressure on this, this does not want to slide across your surface very well and you can have problems with the clamp if you do that. So it does, in a way, force you to use light pressure and let the stone do the work. Okay, so now you can see a good bevel on both sides. Got a burr on one side, flipped it, did the other side, including setup, me talking, and everything so far. We're at 18 and a half minutes using this and a bench stone to put an edge on a knife that we took the edge off of on the video right here. Okay, that's about as well as it's going to deburr. Go ahead and pause it, strop this up real quick, and show you guys the kind of edge 
that we got in under 20 minutes with setup using this DMT aligner guide. Actually, you know what guys? We're not going to go ahead and hit the shop. We're just going to go ahead and see what kind of edge that I got using this. You saw the little bit of work that we actually did on the stone. After I dulled this, let's go ahead and see how this is how this is straight off the stone. So that's it right there. The DMT blade guide. If you are not, if you're wanting to learn, if you're not very good at it, if you want to get a feel for what you have to do, yes, this is much easier to use without having a tripod and a camera. This is less than a foot away from my stone right here. Then you you can get your full normal hold on your knife how you would when you freehand sharpen. But the DMT aligner guide, great useful thing. I know it's helped the people I've given it to already be able to go ahead and sharpen their own stuff using a bench stone. If you guys have any questions, if you want to see some different kind of demonstration with this or anything like that, go ahead and put it down below. I'd be happy to do it. I may clamp a knife in here, use a Lansky rod and diamond stone, and show you how easy you could also use this. I mean, if you really wanted to save some money, this one Lansky medium 600 grit stone and one Lansky guide rod, you could probably get all that stuff for under $30 and be sharpening also. So, that's it for this one. That's all I have. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.